Aloha, this is Senator Fred Hemmings at the Hawaii State Capitol. Uh, I'm a senator and uh, I'm involved in the numerous committees here at the state legislature. And quite frankly, uh, these are quite, quite challenging times. Uh, the economy is in a mess, put it mildly, uh, both nationally and here in the state of Hawaii, and we have to do something about it. It is the pressing issue for this legislative session. It is the pressing issue for the nation. And it is the big issue for an independent world. The economy around the world is having problems. You know, we can spend a lot of time on the blame game and pointing the finger of accusations of what brought about these problems. But I'm not going to do that. We have to spend our time and energy recognizing the mistakes of the past and making corrections and having the vision to do something positive to change the way we do things to make it better. Quite frankly, there's two basic ideologies on economic management and development by government. One ideology is that government can borrow, can tax, and can spend into prosperity the economy. The other ideology is that you can cut taxes and you can cut regulations and allow the economy through entrepreneurs and hard workers to develop itself. Both of these interests have to be balanced. When they're out of balance and one ideology dominates the other, you're destined for problems. What we do have, fortunately for us, is history. We can look back and see what has worked and what has not worked. 1929, the stock market crashed. America went into a severe depression with soup kitchens and people out of work. Some people actually having to beg, steal, or borrow just to get enough money to eat. It were sad times. The president then, President Roosevelt, embarked on a national government program of taxing and spending. And the Great Depression went on through the 30s. A whole generation of people grew up as depression kids. In contrast, President John F. Kennedy instituted a tax cut for the rich, believe it or not, the capital gains tax cut, as they're often called. And that grew the economy and the prosperity that came along with it. Ronald Reagan cut taxes. That resulted in more money in tax receipts because the economy once again grew. And at the early part of this millennium, President George Bush instituted tax cuts that set in motion six years of economic growth, some of the most prosperous years in recent times. Don't let politicians and a complicit media distort the truth. Yes, government in those years grew a greater debt, but that's not because they were taking in more money. It's because politicians were spending the money faster than it was coming in. Tax cuts do grow the economy. Tax cuts do engender free enterprise, risk-taking, and economic development. Think about it. I know it feels good to say that we're going to spend more money on this program or that program, but oftentimes the needy, the hungry, the abused are being held hostage as an excuse to fund huge government programs. Government monopolies are just as bad as private monopolies. I could spend a lot of time pointing out to programs that we spent a lot of money on here in Hawaii that have gotten worse or stagnated at best. Probably public education is the biggest example. Problems with public education aren't lack of funding. They're mismanagement and a huge bureaucracy where the money is being wasted. The bottom line is the economic future should be controlled by you, not politicians.
Think about it. Control your destiny. Get involved in what we do. If you're a young person, especially don't be apathetic. I'll tell you right now, the most expensive thing you're gonna pay for in your life is not gonna be your house, your family, your well-being. It's gonna be taxes, both hidden and direct. This economy and the future of the world depends on freedom, including economic freedom. Be aware of this. Support legislators, support leaders, support people that are going to allow you to control your destiny by controlling your pocketbook. I hope to be talking to you as this session goes on at the state legislature about a number of issues. But right now, the economy is the issue. Be aware of it. Get involved. Have your voice reheard. Thank you.